Hey there, um, my name is Mike, and I'm one of the co-founders of HummingBot. Uh, you may have heard of HummingBot as a command line tool that helps you uh, deploy a market-making bot. Uh, traditionally, our tool has always been for uh, developers and people who are very technical, but we're, we're really excited about launching uh, a new application called HummingBot Dashboard, uh, which will allow uh, non-technical users to deploy, backtest, and manage uh, professional grade market making strategies. So uh, this will be basically HummingBot 2.0 that we're gonna launch uh, pretty soon, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek today. So uh, this is dashboard, it's running locally on my machine, uh, and let me show you some of the capabilities it has. So um, there's, uh, basically for a long time, we've had people who can configure and deploy strategies, and there, our flagship strategy has always been something called a pure market making strategy, that allows you to deploy a market making bot and provide liquidity to a token on a crypto exchange. Um, but market making strategies are pretty complicated. And so configuring them and understanding what your parameters are has always been uh, a fairly large challenge. So we've created this page that allows you to configure um, the exchange you wanna trade on, uh, the trading pair that you, you wanna use. Uh, so let's try, um, yeah, let's go through an example and let's pick, an, pick a coin, um, let's call it Solana. Uh, and then, and then um, and you can also select the leverage you want, uh, you know, if you're trading on perpetual exchange, uh, the amount of uh, quote assets and so forth. So actually, let's go ahead and, and deploy one um, now. Um, um, okay, let's try it. Uh, let's try this. Um, maybe, well, I should try, let's try perpetual. That'll be uh, easier to manage. Um, Try uh, maybe something like this with five hundred dollars um, and ten times leverage, so about fifty dollars per order, uh, and then and then we can do hedge mode, so we can have orders on both sides, um, and then and then these other settings are about kind of you know when you uh, you know how often you want to refresh and cool down after you place an order. So here is where you set your uh, buy orders and sell orders. Uh, you can set uh, how many order levels you want on either side, like this. So now. You only have one order level, uh, but you can also have you know a few more, like three, um, and then and then here's where you define the spreads and amounts uh, for the various levels. So you can also use different order distributions. So here we're setting manually, but you can also use something like a geometric distribution to set your order levels. So uh, let's keep it manual. Let's keep it simple for now and just deploy um, one order on either side. Uh, so this is, we're going to just deploy a bot that's constantly refreshing and placing buy and sell orders. Um, one cool feature we've added recently in HummingBot is risk management, which means that once your order is filled, uh, it will ma manage it for you and set stop losses, take profits, and trail on stops. So uh, these are settings here. I'll just leave these as it defaults. And then, and then finally, I think the coolest part about Dashboard is that we've incorporated historical data from exchanges so now you can actually backtest strategies. So uh, here, uh, let's uh, let's basically look at the data over the last two days uh, using one minute candles. Um, here's an estimated trade cost. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna ba basically take these settings here that we've configured and backtest the strategy. So here's a backtest running. Uh, and, then, and then afterwards, um, once it's done, we'll be able to look at the results and decide if we wanna deploy that as a live bot. So, um, but uh, uh, as I mentioned, as it's running, uh, uh, as it's running, we are planning to really demo this uh, for real uh, in a launch event at Consensus 2024. Uh, so if you're around, uh, definitely stop by our, our launch event over here. Uh, and I'll post some details about this launch event um, in the description below. Um, so it looks like our back test is completed. So um, this strategy, if we had just basically uh, put it out there. Uh, the backtest says we actually would have made $3, uh, but there's a pretty high drawdown here, as you can see. So uh, we're definitely exposed to the market uh, pretty heavily. Uh, so I think, you know, uh, and so you can, you can deploy this live, but we may wanna go back and configure some of these settings to maybe lower the spreads, uh, increase risk management, or, or perhaps even uh, place more spreads. But, but let's go and, um, to deploy this live. So uh, to deploy it, all you have to do is upload the configuration to um, a service called Backend API. 
And then you can go to this deploy tab over here uh, and select the configuration you saved. So that one would be, uh, let's see, I think this one here. Uh, and, and so you, you can see some stats here. So this is um, the configuration details that uh, to help you uh, determine which one you want to launch. So now we're ready to launch it. So let's do a um, let's see, dashboard demo, give it a name, and select the image. So typically you would use Hummingbot. Uh, because this is still um, in flight and in development, uh, you can select the, 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 the Im Docker image um, from our CTO of Federico's uh, repository. Um, uh, one thing to note is that I've actually already added my credentials uh, to this to this uh, bot, which are my API keys to different exchanges that have been encrypted with my Hummingbot password. So now I think we're ready to deploy. So let's um, hit the Create button. And now what it's going to do is it's going to take this configuration and the backend API is going to essentially launch an instance of Hummingbot, uh, the old uh, the traditional legacy client. And that's going to basically be an engine that will mark and make for you. So now it should have started. And you can go to the Instances tab and see um, the running instances. Uh, these are actually some instances I have running already. So this is the one that we just started. So now that the instances are running, uh, let's go inspect what the bots look like on the exchange themselves. Uh, so here are the um, here's the the, the, the bots that I've set up. Uh, and I'm currently running. As you can see that uh, it's placed a bunch of orders on the market. There are actually three different controllers here. So these are actually three specific configurations uh, for for the WorldCoin market. Um, and and now um, you can see there's 84 open orders. Uh, I have executed a few positions, and and this is kind of like what the bot is doing right now. Uh, we can actually see if we look at this some of the um, some of the trade that is done, and. Um, so it'll be, uh, if you look at the trade history here, uh, you can see all the longs and shorts that the bot has placed. If you want to drill down even more, you can also inspect what the bot looks like um, in each individual Hummingbot instance. So this is it right here, but to do that, um, you would simply need to go uh, and type docker ps in terminal and attach to the instance uh, that is um, running Hummingbot. So that's this one here. Uh, it's been running for about two hours, as you can see. And so um, this is uh, what it looks like. And you can use the same status and history commands that are always available in Hummingbot. So in terms of history, um, this, this bot, uh, which is running three different configurations on the WorldCoin market, has done a total of about 96 trades. And it made uh, about $1 um, in, in that time. Uh, and, and you can also look and see each of the individual, uh, what each individual controller is doing. Uh, and the profits on each one. But, but the goal of this application is really to help um, a single individual manage um, multiple market making strategies and algo trading strategies all from a single uh, local machine. And so what that allows you to do is you can basically launch your own quant fund or market making fund um, you know, without needing to hire lots of engineers um, and, and really technical people. So I, I hope that gives you um, a, a brief uh, yeah, look at what Hummingbot 2 point looks like. Uh, as I mentioned, we're going to launch this at Consensus 2024, and it will be included in an upcoming release, which will be Hummingbot 2.0. Uh, thanks, and uh, uh, and oh, finally, um, we're very much building this with the help of the community. So um, there will be community pages where uh, individual members of the community can own them and maintain them. Um, and uh, this is already available, so we encourage you to check it out. Uh, I'll put the, uh, the link to the deploy repo below. And uh, please, if you have any issues, uh, join our Discord and uh, let us know. Thanks.